is up guys and today I have a pretty good video plan for you guys and sorry about the clicking noise autofocus on my camera is pretty loud and mics right above it so yeah uh, I'll be showing you my new skateboard and then we're gonna go to Happy Hill Park and skate that's gonna be tomorrow it's like 7 o'clock right now so here's my new skateboard uh, yeah so I was gonna put this video out uh, it's about Painting skateboards. Uh, I'm gonna show you my other one. So this is my first ever skateboard that I painted. Yeah. So it's pretty bad because the clear coat I put on it made the white turn yellow. So it's not that good. But yeah, it did turn out pretty well. And uh, these were the trucks were, and I put the trucks on this skateboard right here. Uh, so yeah, this is my first ever. It's not that good. Yeet. And now here is the Supreme that I did. Uh, it's pretty bad because I used a paper mold, not pa like a paper stencil for the Supreme. And you don't want to use a paper stencil. You want to use like a sticker sheet. Okay. You want to use like a sticker sheet, um, and it makes the lines way cleaner. So yeah, Supreme is not that good. This is not even that good of a skateboard, but uh, you may see that the trucks are on pretty weirdly. And this is something I figured out. Saw it on Braille, actually, yeah. Uh, they had like a decathlon, decathlon skate it, you skate, whatever. Make this, whatever. Yeah, they just went to the store and made some skating stuff. And they, I saw a skateboard on the wall and had trucks like this. So we still got the holes here. But I drilled the new holes and put the trucks on the side. So it almost looks like a snowboard now. And it actually rides pretty nice and goes low. Only problem you have when you're turning, put your hand down here, turn, you might scrape your knuckles. But yeah, I'll show you guys how it works. Um, yeah, really what you want to do is drill the holes to align it and put your trucks on like regular. So the only difference you have to put the holes in up there. So yeah, it's really nice. I'll show you how it works. Okay. Sorry about the really bad angle, but... <laughs> yeah, so... Well, it has one downside. Uh, actually, two. Two downsides. One, since it's wider and it's just a skate deck, uh, it bends more, which is not really... It's not really a downside, but... If you push on too hard, it could break. So, yeah, that's one of the downsides. And the other one is your trucks are supposed to be like right here. And now that they're back here, you can't you can't pop it up almost at all. Just put it all the way back. You can kind of get the front up. But you're gonna have to be able to like skate around small corners like with a really tight turn. You can't you won't be able to pop your front up or anything. You can still kinda yeah. That's really the only downside to it. Yeah, it skates, it skates pretty nice, so you're gonna have to loosen your trucks up a little bit. Well, they probably were because uh, since the board's longer, you have to loosen them up so you can turn the same amount as you did before. Yeah, other than that, it's pretty nice. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna go skating out the park after I finish school. So yeah, that should be nice. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna get a couple shots of me going up and down the street. Thank you. 